Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back for VFL after a long winter break. We are back for season two. Round six, the Austrian Austrian round. And uh, let's just say, this did not go to plan at all. You're noticing this video is very short, about less than half the length of what it usually what it usually is. And basically, um, lobbies, online servers are just pretty bad. So a lot of lag. A lot of people ended up lagging and leaving. There was a huge problems with the, the lobbies. We had to leave and rejoin multiple times before this. And uh, basically the race got, well, got cut short halfway. Uh, there's a lot of debate at the moment about where this finishes and who finishes where. So I don't even know myself yet where I finished. But as soon as we know, um, I'll bung it in the, bung it in the comment, and not the comments, the descriptions. We know the, um, full play standings but this is our fastest lap of qualifying it was it wasn't a bad lap it could have been a little bit better but it wasn't too bad but despite pushing pushing the best we qualify in P, P10 well actually it goes to uh, P, P11 in the end so it wasn't too bad we was about five and a half tenths off the gaps were very very tight but here we go sprint race another sprint race and sprint race is really good starting P12 as we get demoted and that guy just didn't want to move at all, so I'm not sure what happened there, but definitely got rammed by a few cars, but I'm very lucky to avoid avoid that there. Up into turn one, get a little bit too much curve, out of shape after the first corner, and we are down to P13, but there is Donald in the in the Mercedes, one of the, one of the big players. He's um, went off, I'm not quite sure actually what happened. There's a McLaren off there, MF underboss, and there's cars left, right, and centre everywhere. Uh, but we are up into P P11, make that P10, so we gained gained a couple of places already in the sprint race and this is what I love about the sprint race because I'm much better in the races compared to the qualifying so it's much easier for me to gain gain back really what I lose up the in trying to go up the inside of Infamous in the Aston Martin just getting on the ERS on the exit of turn four trying to go around the outside but just thinking better of it it's not worth risking the whole race it's only the sprint race to stay behind for now and possibly yeah, we're getting back later and on lap five the last lap of the sprint race using ERS trying to go around the outside just forcing wide a little bit forcing a move up the inside ERS again trying to go around the outside but it looks like Infamous is also on the ERS so close to making contact trying to get the cut back but just not able to get it done I'm putting on as much pressure as I can he runs wide trying to go up the inside with side by side now running into the final two corners and I'm on the outside line, I was thinking, should I, should I? I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to risk it. But Infamous goes a little bit deep and we've got the inside for the last corner. He gives us enough room and we get it done and we finish P7, well P8 I think it was in the end. But what a crazy sprint race, awesome sprint race, really enjoyed that battle. And that was probably the highlight of the whole, of the whole event really, because you're about to see the race, which is wet actually. So we've actually got a wet race, starting on the Inters in P8. Five red lights, and away we go. And this is where everything starts, well, everything starts going downhill. Not for us, but just for everyone else, it seems. Up into turn one, taking it a little bit cautiously, and there is the Ferrari of MOC LFC. He, so he's had a spin, probably made contact with someone, but it doesn't matter because we are up to six at the moment. So we've already gained two places before turn three. This is plus one is turn three. You see the McLaren just tapping the back of the Williams, but we get a little bit of a tank slapper on the exit, going back down to P7, but the good thing is keeping it on the track, no damage. We've got a bit of a gap to the cars behind. But on to lap two, we're already right up behind the McLaren. Not on the overtake just yet, but just sliding up the inside. Looks like he's braking a little bit earlier, just being a little bit more cautious, possibly. But we're up the inside, we're side by side. It's a bit of a bad exit, it's infamous in the Aston Martin again trying to catch up with this but he just can't get us there and on lap five safety car a few crashes in the race and um, well it didn't last for long only a couple of laps and so here we go safety car back in on lap seven and you see Tristan in the Haas there just gets too much throttle on the wet smashes into the wall we obviously have to pass him but we get a illegal overtake but I'm gonna get that appealed because I don't think I deserve that and I believe my teammate at the world at United one also got a uh, time penalty for that but as you can see now 
P3, Tom Taylor and the Williams get held up by a back marker. So no idea what the back marker was doing there on the inside. You'd be thinking, why was I taking on the yellows? And that was because basically it's been yellow all laps for the last five laps. And I thought, well, the game's obviously broken. There's not an incident on the track. I'm just going to go for it and appeal it later. And um, well, hopefully I can get that appealed. But on the end of lap, lap 14, the lobby is clearly glitched. Everything's going to shit. Everyone's fed up. Everyone's had enough. Everyone starts leaving now. So I don't know where this finishes. Do we get P3? Do we get P5? Do we get P6? I have absolutely no idea. But I'm going to put it in the description when I know. So please keep an eye on that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this half race. And I'll uh, see you next weekend for Imola.